Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and we are starting a brand new series today called Reviews Roundup. What does this mean exactly? Well, all throughout the year, I am reviewing and rating new EPs and albums or LPs that have come out all throughout the year, mixtapes as well in here, a whole bunch of stuff I'm reviewing all throughout the year to eventually land on my year and list in the finals. But when it gets to those year and lists, you're like, what is, what does Bowtie even listen to? What is even possibly to be on these lists? Well, we're gonna talk about everything that I've reviewed this month in January, January 2023. We'll go in semi-chronological order and I'll give you my mini quick review and score on each of the albums. So the albums are out of 10, 10 meaning it is literally perfection, uh, zero meaning it's the worst thing I've ever heard uh, and anything in between. And just remember, obviously this is my opinion and for context, this is my distribution score. So this is where my score is. This is how I've given scores in the past. This is generally where you'll see more stuff. And uh, me obviously being an electronic music or electronic dance music consumer, uh, this will lean more towards EDM. While not always EDM, it won't always be EDM stuff, uh, I will lean more heavily towards that. So without any further ado, let's hop into number one. And by number one, I just mean the first thing released this year. Uh, it was Dioro's Reflect EP. Uh, Dioro is kicking off the year for EDM projects and boy, I wish this didn't start the year off. Uh, this is some of the most boring house tracks you could possibly put together, paired with some of, uh, I would say, less than optimal vocal features. It all culminates for a very uninteresting and lazy start to the year. And for this, it lands in a bow tied 3 out of 10. Sorry, Dioro there. Uh, and then we've got Snaus with the Wendy EP. Snaus also sort of kicks off 2023 with a fairly run-of-the-mill hybrid trap EP. Uh, in the last year or so, Snaus has put together and been honing uh, on a style and sound structure that's worked really well for him, and this EP is exactly that. With uh, relatively short tracks and solid trap production, this is a trap lover's dream EP. Uh, that being said, no track uh, is entirely a standout or something brand new to the scene, so uh, in the end, Snaus's Wendy EP is just going to score a bowtie 6 out of 10. Uh, moving right along to Alpha 9's New Horizon LP. This is also uh, Artie's alias, Alpha 9 here. Uh, Artie's progressive trance debut uh, alias, I guess, Alpha 9, has uh, definitely been a welcome project with this uh, New Horizons LP, the first album from Alpha 9 here. I know it was a little bit confusing there, but uh, at exactly an hour long, this is an expansive project with steady beats and consistent melodies. Uh, if anything, this project lacks diversity, I would say. Uh, trance can... Tr tend to sound very similar, and I think with how long this track list is, the repetition uh, really sets in, I think, throughout, especially the back end here. Uh, it's got some good tunes and atmospheric sounds, but something I wouldn't really find myself returning to a whole ton. And with that, uh, Alpha 9's New Horizons LP is going to score a Bowtie 6 out of 10 as well. Uh, then we've got DJ Hansel's uh, Anti-Everything LP, and DJ Hansel's also the alias of Dylan Francis. So this is Dylan Francis here. Uh, his uh, DJ Hansel is a deep house-focused alias that, in all honesty, just really isn't that interesting. Uh, this record in particular is a quick hit of minimalistic deep house that uh, feels a tad dated, I would say. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, in a club setting, I think this is would be fantastic, and I'd be jamming to it any day of the week. Uh, but without that kind of context or setting, this feels uh, just a little off, I would say. So... Uh, in the end, DJ Hansel's anti-everything LP is going to score a bowtie 4 out of 10. Uh, moving into Sleepy Tom, this thing called Life EP. Uh, funk is here and it is marvelous. Sleepy Tom takes on new disco with a modern approach on his newest EP with a smooth with smooth instrumentation and clean production supported, uh, supported by a slew of well-paced, uh, or well-placed, I should say, vocal features. Uh, this thing called Life is everything a new disco EP should be nowadays. And fun fact, I went to the same high school as Sleepy Tom. Great. Uh, with that, Sleepy Tom's This Thing Called Life EP scores a bow tied 7 out of 10. Moving right along to Ace Aura and the Crystal Coalition EP. Uh, Ace Aura continually proving to be one of the premier producers in the dubstep world. Uh, with a larger color base influence on this project, this EP holds uh, some of Ace Aura's best tracks, honestly. Uh, with production assistance from the likes of Beast Boy, Skybreak, and even more, uh, Crystal Coalition is a short collection of high quality modern dubstep. And with that, Ace Aura's Crystal Coalition, Coalition will score a bow tied 7 out of 10. Moving along to S.G. Lewis's Audio Lust and Higher Love LP or album. Uh, this album is the epitome of consistency. 
Uh, just over an hour long, this record is also pure new disco bliss. Uh, while structurally, a majority of the track list is fairly linear, uh, it doesn't take away from the grooving beats and calming melodies. Uh, this record is definitely not as flashy as his 2021 uh, Times LP, uh, but definitely gets the job done. And with that, uh, SG Lewis's Audio Lust and Higher Loves LP will score a bow tied 7 out of 10. Moving right along to Knock 2, the Room 202 EP. Uh, what a breath of fresh air this is. Uh, honestly, it feels like the quintessential modern dance club EP. Uh, with engaging vocals and uh, hard-to-the-floor beats, this EP will surely get you moving. Uh, bouncing in and around a variety of genres and sounds, this project has a distinct club atmosphere without being bogged down by any one genre. Uh, truly a, a multi-tool of sorts. Uh, an impressive project that just adds to the currently exploding sounds of club mixes in the industry right now. And with that, Knock 2's Room 202 EP is going to score Bowtie 8 out of 10. Moving on to Fred again, Actual Life 3 Piano EP, and I'm not going to say the rest of it. Uh, this is a beautifully somber take on club hits. Uh, that being said, it's not really much of anything special. There's fairly basic piano instrumentation and work here with a touch of kind of atmospheric foley uh, that kind of helps the, the EP move along. But other than that, it's not anything too crazy. And with that, Fred again's Actual Life 3 Piano EP is going to score a bow tied 6 out of 10. And then moving on to the uh, penultimate uh, project, I guess, of this month. We've got Cheat Codes One Night in Nashville LP. All things considered, this could have been much, much worse. Uh, you'd think throwing country vocalists on top of bo already boring dance pop beats uh, would be an abysmal album. It's not that bad, I guess. It's definitely not the worst thing, but it, it is still quite bad, I would say. Uh, the top half of the track list feels like um, it wasn't going to be a bit of a dud. I felt like I had some hope in the top half, uh, but then in the back end, it's Cheat Code's uh, worst production, I think, to date. It simultaneously shocked me that this wasn't as horrible as I was anticipating it to be, but also still surprised it was as bad as it was. It's a weird mix. Uh, but in the end, Cheat Code's One Night in Nashville album is going to score Bowtied 3 out of 10. And finally, our last album, last project of the month that I listened to is Lil Yachty's Let's Start Here LP. I've been passively following Lil uh, Yachty for quite some time now, and this is by far his greatest work. As a holistic album, it's a psychedelic experience with groovy tones and his iconic nasally vocals that makes for a fascinating listen. And individually, I'd be hard-pressed to find any other song from his discography that's better than anything, any one track on this album. Uh, the passion and love for this project is palpable. You can feel the good times made throughout this record. Uh, and with the title of Let's Start Here, I'm really hoping this is a career reset for Lil Yachty. This thing is great. And with that, Lil Yachty's Let's Start Here LP will score a bow tied 8 out of 10. So those are all the reviews, all of the things that I've listened to and scored this month, larger projects. Uh, let me know if I missed anything. I will go back and listen to stuff. If you put in the comments of things that I find interesting or something that I've really missed, uh, I will go back and listen to it and maybe add it to the February video or maybe we'll just bypass it. We'll see. Uh, but please let me know anything I missed or any and all comments you have about these projects. Do you think I, hey, I gave a great score on some of the things? Do you think I gave a bad score? I'd love to hear any and all those comments in the comment section below. But other than that, I am Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.